Mathematicians love to place numbers into the world around them. It doesn't matter whether it's areas, probabilities, or geometric bodies. If you have the right formula and a pocket calculator at hand, you can look behind the mathematical facade of everyday life in no time. However, not all mysteries of life can be deciphered with bare numbers or facts. For example, if we're faced with a fundamental decision that could drastically change our future path in life, even the greatest math book couldn't help us. Or could it? If you follow the statements of the world-renowned scientist Nikola Tesla, three very special numbers are particularly well-suited to putting your fate in safe hands. In today's video, we want to show you why the pioneer of the electrical world was almost obsessed with the numbers 3, 6, and 9. If you want to know what the derived, life-changing 369 method is all about, you should definitely stay tuned. But before we explain everything, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around to the end to find out a bit of information about Tesla that we guarantee you never knew before. A Genius and His Quirks Nikola Tesla created the basis for electric motors, the radio, remote control, and the modern alternating current network. Just a quick look at Nikola Tesla's achievements and ideas is enough to convince yourself of the extraordinary genius of the unique scientist. However, anyone who dealt with Tesla as a person, apart from these professional milestones, would quickly realize that the life of the exceptional physicist was not nearly as dazzling as his visions and inventions. Accordingly, throughout his life, Tesla was not allowed to step out of the shadow of his professional colleagues. In fact, in January 1943, the genius died completely alone and penniless in a humble New York hotel. Those people who were lucky enough to accompany Tesla for a short time in his life later spoke not only of the ingenuity of the genius, but also of his peculiar quirks and habits. A brief insight into Tesla's unusual habits goes as follows. According to his own statements, the physicist only slept two hours a night. Before taking a bite of his meal, he calculated the exact volume of the food on his fork. The same was true for the volumes of the cups and plates that ended up on Tesla's table. In addition, Tesla seemed to have a great dislike for pearls and jewelry. In fact, there are stories that tell of the inventor not even being able to face women wearing such accessories. Speaking of women, Tesla, convinced that a relationship would distract him too much from his work, chose to remain a bachelor until his death. Instead, Tesla preferred the company of feathered contemporaries, having pet birds in place of friends. Since the physicist had a thing for pigeons, he regularly went to Central Park to feed his feathered friends. If he saw an injured pigeon, he took it to his hotel room where he nursed it back to health. But the list of Tesla's peculiarities does not end here. As we already mentioned at the beginning, the inventor was particularly taken with the numbers 3, 6, and 9. But how did this quirk develop in his everyday life? Tesla always washed his hands three times in a row. Before entering a building, he circled it three times. What from our point of view might seem like the crazy quirk of a brilliant scientist, or possibly like a kind of obsessive compulsive disorder, had a real, almost sacred background from the point of view of the physicist. But what was this passion for numbers all about? As far as we know, he didn't suffer from any serious type of mental illness, so there had to be a plausible explanation for all of this, right? Tesla's love of numbers If you could understand the magnificence of the numbers 3, 6, and 9, you would have a key to the universe, said Tesla. Whether the genius actually spoke these famous words, or whether they were put into his mouth by mistake is uncertain. What is certain, however, is that those numbers had a very special status in the life of the scientist. But what was the background to this particular claim? 
Basically, Tesla was considered an extremely superstitious person who felt that the corresponding numbers followed him everywhere. Accordingly, one would encounter the respective numbers again and again in the most diverse areas of life. Even within human history, these numbers of three have a centuries-long tradition. For example, let's think of the world-famous ancient Egyptian pyramids, which are triangular geometric objects. In the Christian faith, the trinity of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit has always been a fundamental principle. The sanctity that Tesla attributed to these digits, which can each be divided by three, had no religious meaning, but rather a scientific background. This particular trinity, if you will, was composed of energy, frequency, and vibration, unique cornerstones that Tesla believed held all the mysteries of the universe. Law of Attraction and Affirmations Where the convictions of a time-honored genius meet the modern social media world, a formula emerges with which one's own path in life can be steered in incredible directions. As is not uncommon in our day, we have a TikToker to thank for this supposedly groundbreaking idea. After spreading like wildfire across the platform, this mathematical formula took the hearts of countless users by storm. But what is the so-called 369 method actually about? To understand this, let's first take a look at the cornerstones of this approach. Affirmation and the Law of Attraction The Law of Attraction describes a so-called law of resonance, which is mainly spoken of in the world of self-help. In the late 19th century, the occultist Helena Blavatsky first formulated the Law of Attraction when she advanced the basic theory that similar people attract similar people or circumstances. Basically, this assumption, applied to our everyday life, can be put into words as follows. Whoever creates a certain goal, a wish, or an idea within himself, and firmly believes in achieving the goals he has set for himself, will eventually achieve it. Thus, your spiritual energy acts as a type of magnet. Whatever your soul or spirit strives for most, you'll likely achieve or reach in the end. What initially doesn't sound particularly well-founded actually has a number of well-known supporters. Accordingly, Plato, Newton, and Albert Einstein also dealt with this principle. In order to manifest the law of attraction unshakably in the heart, what is known as affirmation is required. In simple terms, this inner manifestation is based on recalling the goals you've chosen in life over and over again until they eventually become a kind of mantra. Once someone has succeeded in affirming their own desires, the chances that the manifestations will become reality are particularly good, at least according to the followers of the Law of Attraction. In layman's terms, this idea could be described in a more modern way as the idea of if you build it, they will come. Simply put, whatever you truly believe in the deepest part of your heart, mind, or soul will eventually come true if you truly wish for it to come true and make the appropriate preparations. For those who desire fame or fortune, this doesn't necessarily mean that they'll simply wake up one day and be rich or famous. There are still actions that need to be taken on the part of the individual. However, the more dedicated you are to your dream, the more likely it is to become a reality. If you live each and every day doing whatever you can to get ahead in life, chances are you'll eventually get ahead. But what do these terms have in common with the numbers 3, 6, and 9? The 369 Method Anyone who'd like to try this life-changing method for themselves should listen very carefully. The number three at the beginning refers to the fact that you first think about three wishes and formulate them carefully. It's important to formulate your goals as if you had already achieved them. So instead of telling yourself, I want to be happy with my life, it's wiser to say, I'm happy with my life. Other goals could be, I've found my dream job, I've saved enough money, or I'm in a happy relationship. 
Once you've found the three corresponding affirmations for yourself, it's now important to internalize them. This is where the number six comes into play. This number refers to repeating the affirmations six times a day. However, it's important not to murmur these words dispassionately and casually, but to really formulate them with emphasis and conviction. Finally, the last digit, the number nine, is included in the method. Accordingly, one should always repeat one's own mantras for nine seconds at a time. An idea of this form of self-discovery is that you write down your own goals with varying frequency. For example, three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, and nine times in the evening. Anyone who uses this method regularly and with full conviction should be able to look forward to the first results after just three weeks. Basically, the 369 method pursues the goal of helping everyone to find out what they really want in life. From a purely objective point of view, such an approach makes perfect sense. After all, those who actively deal with their personal goals over and over again, instead of mentally pushing them aside in the rut of everyday life, will be more likely to act in such a way that they'll be achieved sooner or later. However, the 369 method does not claim that things will just fall into your lap. It's well known that it sometimes takes a lot of effort and hard work to achieve your dreams. However, those who are carried along the path to the fulfillment of their desires by their own unshakable manifestations will not feel this burden as a mere burden. Instead, they'll be able to look upon their desires and achievements with a great sense of accomplishment, longing for what they truly desire and making all the preparations to get where they want to be. Tesla's Quirks and Bizarre Behavior if you made it this far, chances are you're very much interested in Tesla and his personal life. So let's take a look at a few other things that Tesla would become known for. Aside from his hatred for jewelry and all things flashy, he also had a distaste for anything that was round. This is an odd quirk to explain, but it also seems that he simply couldn't stand to be around round objects. He also hated touching someone else's hair other than his own. To make matters worse, Tesla had a very difficult sleeping pattern and preferred to only sleep for around two hours each night. He would begin his work at around 9 a.m. each day and would work throughout the day until 6 p.m. At exactly 6.10 p.m., he would stop his work and have dinner, ensuring that he wore his white gloves with every meal. After he finished his meal, he would get back to work and continue working until 3 in the morning. Even though he clearly lived a very unhealthy lifestyle, Nikola Tesla managed to live to see the age of 86 and was, all around, a relatively healthy person. Though, despite his decent health, he was often struck by the obsessive behavior that led him to struggle with basic daily tasks. For example, he was obsessed with the number three. Anytime he washed his hands, he would wash them three times in a row. If he needed to enter a building, he would walk a lap around the building three times before entering. It was this behavior that, in more recent years, has led experts to believe that he most likely suffered from some form of autism spectrum disorder, with the most common belief being that he had Asperger's syndrome, which is often described as a high-functioning version of autism that can often go undiagnosed. It was July 10th, 1856, when Nikola Tesla would be born. However, his birth was far from simple. Tesla's mother, Georgina, was tasked with giving birth to the future genius in the midst of a lightning storm. This may not sound like a huge deal today, considering we have insulated buildings, hospitals, and all sorts of wait staff to help with deliveries. Though, for Tesla's birth, all he had were his parents and a midwife that helped out with the labor process. 
Back during these times, most people were very superstitious. Many people believed that the weather and circumstances surrounding a child's birth could impact the way they grew up in the future, deeply affecting the child on an ethereal level. Because of this, it seems fitting that Nikola Tesla was born during a lightning storm, considering the young man would eventually become the father of modern electricity and many electronic devices. Whatever the case may be, one thing is for sure. Tesla had become a world-renowned genius, and his work all those years ago has led to our lives, hundreds of years later, being transformed for the better. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more great videos.